season's greeting to you and yours from all of us here at the Weather Network. Hi there, I'm Candice Batista. And, uh, well, we do have active weather to talk to you about across the country. We'll start in the west coast and go to the east. Wind's still an issue into southern Alberta. Crow's Nest Pass, Pincher Creek, 70 kilometer, kilometer per hour winds gusting out of the west. And then West Vancouver Island, 50 to 70 kilometers per hour. Those winds gusting out of the southeast. And then a wide swath of freezing rain warnings issued from the Environment Canada across Saskatchewan and into Manitoba. Cold air at the surface, warm air aloft, and that is why you are into a risk. It's it's a small possibility, but we still want you to be aware that those conditions are possible. Eastern Ontario, as well as portions of Quebec, into a freezing rain warning as well with a separate system that is making its way towards the region into the overnight period. 50 to 20 millimeters of freezing rain for Quebec, as well for eastern Ontario, 5 to 10 millimeters of freezing rain. Blizzard-like conditions as well for the Miramichi, the Gaspé, the Bathurst area near zero visibility. Also, blizzard warnings are in effect across the, uh, those areas. Now, as we move towards Quebec, 15 to 40 centimeters of snow is uh, in the forecast. New Brunswick, 40 to 60 centimeters. Nova Scotia, heavy rainfall. 30 to 40 millimeters, especially for Cape Breton. Winds from the southeast. Rain will also be an issue for you. About 25 millimeters as well, up to 50 for you across the uh, Avalon into the snow, however, to the north. So St. John's and the vicinity. Keep that in mind. Now, as we move a little uh, further on, you can see winds will also be an issue. Blowing snow will also be a major problem with this storm system. Winds will be gusting out of the southeast through New, New Brunswick, La Suets, and Inverness County. We'll see winds towards 90 kilometers. Per hour, and the wreck house winds will gust towards 110 kilometers per hour. Minor flooding is possible with storm surge through New Brunswick as well as Prince County in Prince Edward Island. So a very potent low pressure system making its way towards the maritime provinces. In fact, also seeing the effects of that low pressure system at the moment through southern regions of Ontario. Let's take a national perspective now and detail some of the active weather to you across the country. British Columbia for Monday, you'll get a lull up and down the coast of BC and for the most part uh, it'll be a pretty good day into the interior. You'll continue to see showers. However, there is a second pulse of moisture that is going to make its way into your area. Across uh, the prairies, well, we do have uh, cold air at the surface, warm air riding the jet stream aloft, and that's why there is some uh, freezing rain potential. And then uh, a very massive low pressure system. On the wraparound through southern Ontario, we're getting pretty uh, active through the overnight period. However, ahead of the system, snow and rain already pushing into regions across Quebec as well as into the Maritimes. It is going to be a very stormy Monday. If you can be indoors, it's best to stay away from the roads. Current temperatures, minus 3 in St. John's, 0 degrees across Halifax, Montreal, Ottawa, Toronto sitting at 1 degree, all above seasonal, by the way. You're also above seasonal across the West Coast. Across the West for tomorrow, another nice day for you in Vancouver as well as Calgary. 2 degrees for you in Regina, Winnipeg, also uh, well above seasonal. Your normal for this time of year is about minus 10 degrees. Toronto at 1. And across Atlantic Canada, once again, you are above seasonal. So as I mentioned across BC, it's been a pretty wet day for you, and it will continue into the overnight period. In fact, you're still seeing some heavy showers moving through Nanaimo. They've come to an end for Tofino. Nanaimo, however, Victoria, you're also getting a slight break, but it's still raining through Vancouver as well as Abbotsford, even, even into the um, lower Fraser Valley. You're seeing some spotty showers. That will continue into the overnight period. Cold temperatures to the north continue, especially around the Churchill and Thompson area. The same low pressure system that's in that area will move to northern Ontario and bring some active conditions. Across the prairies, we talked about the freezing rain. Southern Ontario or northeastern portions of Ontario, Perry Sound, Aurelia Highway 69, Highway 11, getting into some active weather. Mix is possible, a rain-snow mix. Southern Ontario, if you're driving along the 401 corridor, uh, give yourself a little extra time. We're looking at seeing probably around the Golden Horseshoe, one to five centimeters of snow. So do keep that in mind. Uh, Toronto right now seeing some light snow. Peterborough seeing a mix. And Trenton seeing rain. So you can see this system is really different or bringing very different conditions depending on where you are. Visibility is also very, very poor through southern regions of Ontario. And as it moves towards Quebec, issues with visibility there as well.
Well, shopping on Monday is a big day across the country. If you are in Atlantic Canada, you'll probably want to hold off on doing some Boxing Day shopping because of this low-pressure system. Winds will be an issue. Storm surge will be an issue. Blowing snow as well as snow. It will be cooler as well. And you're looking at blizzard-like conditions throughout the Maritime provinces, especially uh, heavy snow for the Gas Bay as well as northern New Brunswick. So a very active day across Atlantic Canada for Monday. This low-pressure system, there is the possibility through northwestern regions of Ontario of getting into some freezing drizzle. You're still above season.